on the eve of football, getting ready to go into work, I wanted to keep you guys up to date on what's going on with the Buffalo Bills. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe and welcome to this roster update edition of Believer's Talk where we keep you up to date on everything going on with the Buffalo Bills roster. We made it through the 53-man roster cut day this past Saturday and now we're getting ready for football to start on the 13th. The Buffalo Bills play the New York, New Jersey Jets and I am very excited for this matchup and for this season to start. But again, I want to keep you guys up to date. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, guys, hit that subscribe button while you're here. Hit that thumbs up button, like this video, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these moves that happened. A lot of these moves happened yesterday. I just want to keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on. I think the big news for the Buffalo Bills as of yesterday, as far as roster moves go, is the release of Patrick DeMarco. On Saturday, we found out that Patrick DeMarco was put on IR and that he would not be playing this season. Well, it turns out that the Buffalo Bills and Patrick DeMarco have come to a mutual injury settlement agreement. That means Patrick DeMarco is officially no longer a Buffalo Bill. Now, obviously, come 2021, he has the, he has the, uh, you know, the, free will to sign with whoever he wants so he can come back to the Bills at that time. However, you're just not sure uh, if that, that's what he is planning to do and what teams will offer him, especially considering the Bills now have Reggie Gilliam. Let's see how Reggie Gilliam does this season before we make any commitments to another fullback. I think that uh, Patrick Marco was a great signing for the Buffalo Bills in 2017 and he really helped this team along, especially during the LaShawn McCoy years. I think that he helped LaShawn McCoy get over a thousand yards in his 2017 season, you know, LaShawn McCoy always speaks fondly of his time in Buffalo, and he had a great fullback blocking for him. So uh, I think Patrick Marco was a great pickup for the Buffalo Bills. Originally an undrafted free agent in 2011, and spent most of his time with the Atlanta Falcons in 2016. He actually was a pro bowler. So congratulations to him at a position that isn't easy, isn't always getting the attention that maybe it deserves. And in a position that, let's be honest, in the NFL is becoming less and less important important, that fullback position. In fact, our new fullback, Reggie Gilliam, seems to be a slash position where it's fullback slash tight end. He will play fullback at times, but he also will uh, be be put out at tight end from time to time as well. So the fullback position is a position that's fleeting in the NFL, and yet Patrick DeMarco has been able to do it with a good amount of success in his career. Also huge on special teams. He's always been a big contributor on special teams, one of the main reasons why we kept him during the 2019 season. Uh, so I wish nothing but the best for pa Patrick DeMarco, and I hope him uh, you know, best wishes as he heals from his neck injury, and hopefully uh, we'll see him back in a football field soon on a you know, on a football field soon in a football uniform, whether it's with the Bills or with another team. So moving on, we did sign two new players to the practice squad. We picked up uh, wide receiver Jake Camaro, uh, formerly of the Green Bay Packers. Uh, a lot of people were surprised when the Green Bay Packers cut him. So the Buffalo Bills bring him into our practice squad. Last season at 12 receptions for 219 yards. So a guy who might be able to find his way onto an active roster eventually. But right now to have that kind of wide receiver on our um practice squad is a great addition. You have Duke Williams on the practice squad as well. Ready to come up, ready to make it to the active roster if needed. I think this is a great addition to the Buffalo Bills practice squad. Um, We'll talk about who we released here in a minute. Neither of the guys that we released, I think we're going to make any type of impact on the Bills. And it's very possible that he will not either, that Kamara will not either. Uh, but just taking that chance on this guy, I think is a huge, uh, huge uh statement for the Buffalo Bills saying that they want to make sure that they have a good array of wide receivers come the 53-man roster. If a wide receiver gets injured, they realize they can't make it on five wide receivers or six wide receivers, I should say, with the addition of Andre Roberts. They need to bring somebody in. So to see this add to the uh, practice squad, 16-man practice squad, you have two wide receivers. That tells you how important the wide receiver position is going to be for the Buffalo Bills in 2020. We also added Chris Slayton, defensive tackle. I'm not sure if we had any other defensive tackles currently on the practice squad. So again, when you look at the defensive tackle position with the uh, loss of Star Latule, you do want to make sure you have depth back there. And this just adds to that depth to the practice squad. Hopefully he can contribute to the Buffalo Bills, whether it just be on the practice squad level or whether it be 
moving up to the active roster. Obviously, for week one, he's going to stay on the practice squad, needs to learn how the Bills uh, system works before he, we can put him out there on the field. So good addition there with Chris Slayton. Was a seventh-round draft pick in 2019 by the New York, New Jersey Giants. We bring him on board um, to the Buffalo Bills. In order to make room for these two roster moves, we had to release two players. So the Buffalo Bills released Brandon Walton and tied end Nate Becker. Again, two guys I did not see making much of an impact on this team, so not upset to see them go. Um, Brandon Walton's offensive lineman. We still have three offensive linemen on our practice squad, so th I think we're set at offensive line, uh, although you can never have too much depth on the offensive or defensive lines. I feel like we have a good amount of depth, and that will lead us into the 2020 NFL season. The last thing I want to keep you up to date on is the Buffalo Bills plan on bringing in former Jet center Jonathan Harrison uh, to, to one Bills drive to see if we can get some depth for Mitch Morse at center. We don't have much depth at center right now, so we do need that kind of depth. However, I'm not sure if we want to get it from the New York Jets, right? I mean, you look at the Jets' offensive line last season, not exactly impressive. That's why there was so much turnaround on the Jets' offensive line this year. We already signed Brian Winters, former, former offensive guard of the New York Jets. Why do we want to bring in more New York Jets' offensive linemen? Again, in being we trust, I guess we do need depth. And instead of being a starter somewhere, being a backup is, you know, just kind of shows the composition and talent that you have. And I'm okay with that. Maybe that will put more fight into Jonathan to to want to uh, try harder and try to compete more with Mitch Morse and see if he can get even a little bit better. So those are the announcements from Tuesday. Again, only one more day until the start of football. I know I'm excited. I hope that you are too. Leave a comment in the comment section. What do you think about these moves? Anything that you want to say to Patrick DeMarco? Are you happy that he's been, he was here from 2017 until 2019? Three seasons with the Bills. Unfortunately, injury cut his career short with the Buffalo Bills. Hope to see him back on the field soon. Hopefully he gets better from this neck injury. Whatever the case may be, uh, it looks like his time is done in Buffalo. So again, I'll talk to y'all soon today. Uh, later today, you can see my prediction video for all, all the 16 games coming up in week one. I do both against the spread and straight up. So catch that later today. I look forward to talking to y'all soon. Until I do, go Bills.